in this video we are focused how to make a google form by using mathematical expressions because in this today's scenario we are facing this problem that how to insert mathematical expression by, for taking any mathematics exam or mathematical expression so for this we are going to google form and in the last in my last video i already uh, explained how to make a google form in a very easy way it's very simple and easy so you have to go for blank and then you can make it for quizzes so like you can name as say i say class test one and then i am start to add questions so suppose my question is some mathematical expression so for this i have to go first i have to go in google and type cord cogs C O D E C O G S Code Cox Equation Editor. So I have to click on the first icon, and you can see your screen will come on this page. So here you can type any mathematical expression. As I am going to say, type x square minus one. you can see here itself the expression mathematical expression shown here so this is my question x square minus 1 is yeah you can say what is x square minus 1 and then question mark so you can make spaces slash comma hyphen like this and then yeah then you can see that this is my question what is x square minus 1 with this mathematical expression you come to here and if it is not for url so you have to be set it on url and just copy control c and then you come to yes you come to you you can see this is the click you click on this icon and you can image insert image and upload like this so you have to go by by url we are going to insert that image then you make a paste so after paste the image will appear it will take some little bit time because of my net connectivity it is slower so that's why it's take little time and uh, say okay let me check that it's saying this they, they are not finding url so okay now i am copy it again and just paste in this you can see this is my question what is x square minus 1 we just insert so your question comes like this what is x square minus 1 with a question mark now you can make it a multiple choice or short answer paragraph or check boxes so i will go for check boxes and i am going to insert my options so for once you can add like this and other another way you have to be go in google and type you have to go in google like you go in google or you type e q u a t i o like this like this e 
equation editor equation editor and uh, this one is coming and then you add to the third option Google equation IO maths mode Google Chrome so it's come Chrome web store the page comes on Google Chrome web store you have to be just add it for Chrome then it will add it on Google extension and it have this icon once when it added to your uh, Google Chrome and this you can see this is the icon you just press uh, uh, click on this icon and it's coming like this so this is the equation editor just you click click on this and it coming like this so here you can insert a type mathematical expression in direct form or you can make it some in, in latex editor or simply you can draw a, any graph whatever you want so like I'm going to type x square x minus 1 my first option and then click on right click so that it would automatically take and add it so your first option say my first option a a is like this x minus 1 or I'm going to add another option another option B this is another option B so by clicking on again on this X plus B and then simply right click it automatically added then I will go to the other option say C and again the same and I make a graph of x minus 1 x plus 1 or yeah x plus 1 and just add it add this option it will take little bit time but it automatically add it and this is the graph for x minus 1 and then I write D option all of the above all of the above so my questions mathematics questions soon become like this I can make it I can give it answers I can I will show you how it's preview zone so you just be see my quotient seen like this so what is x square minus 1 and options in the big the difference both in the both like uh, in cos uh, quad cogs the expression lit smaller but uh, if you are using equation io then you can see this font size is bigger and uh, by this it is like very helpful in the, this nature that you can be make any graph and any math mm, any graphical things in this equation io so we can make it on automatic checkbox we can use uh, uh, automatic checkbox so that uh, uh, it will like uh, you it will check your answers which is very good so we can go for setting and do some little bit setting uh, and then after that quizzes make a quiz and then you can go for this 
after this uh, later annual manual this and then correct uh, correct answer point value you can insert point value and then this coming so you can give you can answer tick automatically i give just like uh, 1.4 this question and uh, my d option is correct so done so automatically it will correct my right answer and now we can see the preview is same but difference is like uh, it will automatically correct, collect uh, the right answer and give you a scorecard complete scorecard if any other one uh, say uh, i to click on b a b and just submit it so then i give my mail id insert my mail id it required mail id then submit it then submit so let me show you how one response is coming and it will say my response this is my response but this is a wrong answer because right answer is you can see missing one out of one correct answer because right answer is one which is we have marked as d option so this is the best thing google have to making or conducting a google classroom so uh, thank you for being with me do like subscribe and share my channel knowledge junction for more updates uh, for more new uh, new videos so thank you thank you very much